G'day, g'day. And I hope you're having a jolly good one, eh? So uh, I've been out uh, country, out in um, farmland, right? Out where all the cows are and stuff, down uh, north north border of uh, Victoria area, right? Where, anyway, Wodonga. And I'll tell you what, it makes me sad because whilst this area here on the Victorian side is absolutely luscious with trees and hills, the Albury side is just kind of barren. And I just feel like it'd be nice to have these little strips, like even like this here. Like I've, I've finally, it's taken me six weeks or more to find a patch of like native forest. And it, 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 it just, it breaks my heart to see how every farm is just one farm, a little fucking fence, another farm, a little fence, a little farm, and there's no trees, no forest, no nothing. You know, and it's just like creating wildlife corridors between the properties would be such a bountiful thing you know it just it creates this space where the little kangaroos and echidnas and other little critters can get around and it just feels so good under the feet you know i'm getting back into the barefooting again because it's like i've been doing some personal healing stuff and need to be a bit more warm and whatnot but getting back into letting that cold cold crispness get really in there eh? love it and you get this beautiful biodiversity in the soil i mean look at that you got all these old sticks here and leaves and bits of sand and you know, who knows what else, shells of insects and animal leavings and whatever. But then you get these little lamandra clumping grasses, and I just, I love it. I love it. I've got some sort of herb. I don't even know this one. I'm new to the area. Uh, what else we got here? Some sort of vine. I could probably use it for weaving if I wanted to. Probably medicinal. I don't know. It's, ooh, nice texture. I like that. That's very nice. You know, then you've got bursaria as well. Lovely little one with a spiky one. That can be used for uh, sunblock and uh, for... Uh, Tanning hides and tanning leather and stuff like that, tanning um, wood as well. You know, and it's beautiful to see it. And you even get, uh, oh, we've got some Dianella here that's gone out of flower, out of season there. Yeah, beautiful stuff. And of course, eucalyptus, all different kinds around the place. Little waddles, you know, uh, it's stunning. I love it. I love it so much. And it's just, it, it, would, it would be such a beautiful marriage of, of farmland with little border strips. You know, it's, and, and even these little beautiful hollows you get, like, check this out. I'm going to kangaroo bounce my way through here, eh? And, um, yeah, like all these hollows. So you get these spaces where little critters can live, you know? So you get all your, your forest friends, you know? All that beautiful family of the world there. Uh, we'll do another video later on, like, kangaroo martial arts. But, like, basically all those indigenous dance forms, that's martial arts, yeah? But, uh, or movement arts, if you want to call it that. But that's a topic for another video, one thing at a time. So, uh, yeah. Oh, side note, um, the whole thing with raw milk, that was uh, to do with hemolytic uremic syndrome, um, which is actually caused by maltodextrin. So raw milk has been falsely uh, accused of the crime that maltodextrin committed. And what that does, uh, maltodextrin, it enhances the adhesion of salmonella and E. coli bacteria strains to the small intestine, causing heightened permeation of um, those strains and therefore hemolytic uremic syndrome which is pissing and shitting blood until you die raw milk is innocent anyway um random side note take care of yourselves folks have a lovely day get out in the forest go barefoot and uh love life hey peace out blessings Pshh.